How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at an Akai Boshi blue box. It's a thing of cookies actually and uh, I've never had one of these. I actually am kind of unsure what the inside is going to look like or really anything. This is what the back looks like gives you a little preview right here again a little bit of a spoiler but if you want to pause and check out the nutritional information it looks those it looks as though we have about 10 grams of sugar and about uh half the box which is uh not bad at all honestly and then again on the front we have this really nice almost hand-painted portrait of this lady right here really makes this thing feel super premium all right without further ado let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about slides out pretty easy and then it looks like we have a little pull tab right here i'm just gonna try to push it from the top instead. There we go. Alright. Very nice. Even has the little logo right there as well. Let's go ahead and pop this off. It says, the assortment may change in appearance subject to the season. Due to temperature changes, chocolate may turn white. This phenomenon is called the bloom. When this happens, it does not change the taste of the chocolate. Yeah, I've actually had chocolate that's done that before. It doesn't really change too much. Wow. Look at this. So, you know what this reminds me of? I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but uh, Matilda, this old kind of 90s movie. Um, there's always this box of chocolates that looked super fancy that the kids weren't allowed to have, only the uh, principal or the adults. But uh, let's check this out. Let's grab this first cookie in here. White chocolate almond. It looks like it has a sugar-glazed almond on the top with a white chocolate base. That looks really good. We have a green apple something. I'm not sure. And then this one says it's a brandy ball. So it has some brandy in it. says it's a milk roll. There's nothing inside of it. This is a tea roll. This one doesn't also have anything inside of it. And then it's just uh, the same ones at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try this first one that I picked up because this looks really good. Look at that. Let's go ahead and try it out. Wow. Okay. That is really good. The crunchiness of the cookie and the milkiness of that milk chocolate combined together is amazing. Um, I didn't eat the almond off the top because... I'm not the biggest fan of almonds, so I can't really give an opinion on that, but the rest was really good. All right, let's go ahead and try this brandy ball. Interesting. Looks to be some kind of uh, white chocolate. That is white chocolate with a very, very subtle hint of, um, I gotta say alcohol, maybe brandy, maybe that's why it's called a brandy ball, 
but it's done in such a way it's really flavorful. I'm kind of nervous on this uh, green apple one though, because I'm assuming it's going to be a chocolate. I've never had green apple chocolate, so... Oh yeah, it's the same thing. Whoa. All right, let's try it out. They did it in a way that makes the puck, the kind of the pucker of the apple, actually accent the chocolate, and I'm really surprised that I liked that. I like that actually more than the brandy ball. Let's try out this uh, milk roll. See how this is. I don't like if there's anything inside of it. It's just a crunchy roll. That's really good. I could definitely see myself eating something like this with a nice little cup of tea or something. Let's open up the uh, tea roll. That's really good. I actually really like uh, that one as well. But hands down, this is the best thing in this box. These two right here, really good stuff right there. I like that a lot. Um, probably can't eat the whole thing right now, unfortunately. But uh, I definitely will be saving these for later. But yeah. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are super appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.